So in this session, I'm going to show you how we can make use of variables to create dynamic kind of dashboard. So for that, first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new dashboard and just quickly, I'm going to create a memory utilization dashboard. So just give me a moment. Now, this is the memory utilization graph, which I have just quickly created. And this is similar to what we had already used in previous sessions. So now we are going to use variables in this dashboard. Now notice one thing that all the variables are applicable only at the dashboard level. So for example, if I create a variable here, I can use it only in this dashboard. So first of all, I'm just going to quickly save this dashboard by clicking on save dashboard and giving, giving it a name of demo variables and let's save it. And now I'm going to click here on uh, dashboard settings. So once we click on dashboard settings on the left side, you can see we have variables and then here we are going to click on add variables and here we can give a name to this variable. So this variable, I'm going to uh, give a name of servers. And here in the type, I'm going to select custom. I just wanted to show you custom variable first. And here in the value, value separated by comma, let's say I want to give list of all the servers which we monitor. So for example, it's going to be IT Panther 01 comma IT Panther 02 comma IT Panther 03, okay? And just click on update. So now you can see we have all the three values available here and let's click on update here. Okay, so this is what we have. Uh, you can see we have a variable name which is called servers and this is the definition of that. So these, these are the values which are available here. And also if you see here, we are getting a warning. If you just click here or hover over on this warning, this is going to say that this variable is currently not being used by any dashboard. Okay, so we need to make use of this variable. I'm just gonna uh, click here on, or you can also press escape. So now you can see that we already have a variable created here, which is saying servers, and we can see all the three values which we added. And now what we are going to do is, let's edit this. So click on title, go to edit. And here we are going to apply a filter on where, okay? So we have not used this where clause as of now. So now I'm gonna click on plus sign next to where. And here we are going to say host. And here we are going to say equal to and in the select tag values we are going to select this variable okay so servers this is the variable which we have created and now we have selected this one okay and let's click on apply so now notice one thing uh, now you see data only for it panther 01 because here we have selected it panther 01 if i select it panther 02 you will see that this data is changing and now you see uh, data only for it panther 02 now variables can be used at many places. So for example, if you want this variable name to appear here and on the title, you can do that as well. So for example, I'm gonna go to uh, click on edit and here we are going to say memory utilization space and remember the name of our variable is servers. So if you want to use variable name anywhere, you can say you can write dollar and name of the variable, which is going to be uh, servers in this case. Okay, click on apply. And now you can see you also you have memory utilization and this is the name of the server. So if you select IT Panther 03, this is going to get updated automatically. Okay, and there's one more thing which we now need to do is let's say we want the option of selecting multiple servers. Okay, we want to see let's say data of multiple servers. So in that case, we can go back to our variable by going to dashboard settings and then going to variables. And now here, this is a variable which we had created. So I'm going to click on this to edit it. And then here you see we have option of multi-value. So once I enable multi-value and click on update and go back to the dashboard, now you will see we have option of selecting multiple values. So let's say I'm selecting IT Panther 0, 2 and 3. And now you can see we have two values here. We have data point for IT Panther 0, 2 and 3. Now uh, you see kind of, you know, lines are overlapping because uh, the utilization is almost same for both of them. So we can probably let me select any other server which can show some clear, you know, uh, differences. So now here you can see we have, you know, slightly different values here for memory utilization of these servers. And also you can see here we have all the server names appearing. So if you want, you can select all the three servers. Now you see it is easy if you have, you know, three or four servers, you can, and if you want to see data for all the servers, you can select all of them one by one. But how about let's say if you have, you know, list of 20 servers, in that case, if you want to see data for all the servers, you cannot keep on going and selecting all the servers one by one. So in that case, we want the ability to have an option of selecting all the servers. 
So for that again if you have noticed let me go back to variables by going to dashboard settings and let's go to variables edit this vari variable which we have created and now if you notice here we also have an option which is called include all options so if I enable it you will see there is an option uh, which has appeared which is called all so I'm gonna click on update and go back and now you can see we have an option which is called all so I'm just going to select all and now you can see once I select all here we can see memory utilization selected is all and here we can see list of all the servers so if you want to select one server you can do that now if you want to select all the servers you can do that as well and if you want to select multiple servers you can do that as well so this is now the power of you know using variables uh, now notice one thing here since we are using custom variables here so for example if I go to dashboard settings and if I go to variables you can see that you know we have kind of hard coded all the values of server names here let's say if I install a telegraph on one more server okay in that case uh, you will notice that the value of those servers is not going to come here automatically okay so what we have to do is we have to go to dashboard settings and we have to go to variables and we have to you know uh, make an entry of the new servers where we have installed telegraph so that's the reason custom uh, variable may not be you know fitting the need of these kind of dashboards and that's the reason we are going to learn how to you know tackle this kind of problem in the next session so see you again in the next session